12 to 18 hours to digest it. Uh, you know, what are some of the things that uh, absolutely have to be done uh, tomorrow night to, to keep this series going? Well, there's a couple, but first and foremost, it, it's, it's got to start with our uh, each individual's intensity and battle level. Uh, when you start losing those battles on the boards or in that front, you end up chasing them, and we're chasing them too much right now. So it starts. It does start with that. Uh, it starts with our puck management. Uh, they're getting way too many chances off the rush because of our turnovers. So those are individual mistakes that we have to clean up. Um, and clearly the, the, the discipline that's staying like four penalties in the second period took us right out of the game. Uh, we were happy with what we did at the end of the first. We, we had some momentum going and then back-to-back -back penalties and then and the late one that took us right out of the game. So. Uh, it's it's a lot of those things now. Are there certain tweaks that have to be made to the way we're playing? Absolutely, there are, and, and we'll address that and we'll make those. But it, it, you can make all the adjustments you want, but if it comes down to the players and one on one in the battles and you're losing them, that it kind of defeats the purpose. So, in terms of clarification, Rick, you know, it, it, at least from what we heard yesterday from Nino and Mark, uh, you know, that there is some question in their minds uh, about the strategy. What do you guys have to do as coaches to, to calm that down? Well, we, we thought we did it before the game yesterday, but that's okay. We'll just keep showing them the good things and, how, and how, what we're doing well and the things that, you know, we, there, there's, we have to make some adjustments, there's no question. And we will. I'm, I'm not worried about that. Uh, I, the, again, it, 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 let's get the battle, let's get the intensity, because all those things will fall into place. But you can make all the adjustments you want if the intensity and, and the, everything else isn't there. And again, it's going to go for naught, but we see some areas that, uh, that we, and we tried to address them yesterday, and it didn't, and, uh, it didn't follow through, so we'll, we'll keep tweaking. You just talked about having a lot to prove and, and stuff, so how do you explain the lack of intensity now then? I, right now, it's all about winning tomorrow night. It, it is. That's all we have to do. And, and we haven't played. And again, sometimes you you make adjustments when you everything you're telling them to do it, and you're doing it perfectly, and it's not working. Some of these things we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing, right? So that's not an adjustment. That's let's get back to doing what we're supposed to do. And so that's missing a little bit as well. So the the, the way we want to play. Uh, there's just certain of our, our areas of, game, of, of our game that sh is normally a strength. We're not doing those things, which again makes it easier for Colorado to play their game. So those are self-inflicted. Now these little tweaks, yeah, the, the, that's not the issue for me. We can. That's easy to do. That's easy to recognize. I get that. But we, it goes back to making sure we're doing the things that made us successful all year that we're not doing consistently. Um, and again, if you're doing things the way you, the, you've, you've got them drawn up and it's not working, then you say, okay, but this isn't working. We got to change, <clears throat> but we got to get back to playing the way we're supposed to play and doing the little things and then the little tweaks come on into play. But it goes back to that. It starts with each individual being just, just a little bit more intense. In the playoffs, each, uh, I mean, three losses in a row in the playoffs will test the team's unity. What do you see there? Uh, well, we're, listen, we can all say all the words in the world and say all the right things. Our, our play tomorrow night will, will dictate everything. It will. It's, uh, we can say this and uh, make all the correct comments and, and tell you everything you want to hear. But it, it, everything will be decided on what our eyes tell us tomorrow, not our ears. Rick, what's the latest on uh, Vladislav? What was the diagnosis? He has a uh, fractured cheekbone. Uh, there's no orbital damage, but they kept him overnight, and he's on his way back. I, I sent him a text last night. He got back to me this morning, feeling better, and uh, he, he's going to be coming back today. Does that take surgery to do a repair, or do you know? No, I don't think so. He's a tough kid. <laughs> <laughs> I never, never rule anybody out. Vladdy's a tough kid. What about, Brendan, what about Brendan Dillon and Allison Morgan? Barron, is there anything new with no, him? Morgan hasn't skated, so Morgan's definitely out. Uh, you know what a competitor Dilly is. Um, we're not going to put him in harm's way. Let's put it that way. We're not going to put him out there and, and listen. He'd play with two broken hands if he could, uh, if we let him. Um, but we'll, we'll make the right decision based on, on what's best for him. Uh, like we're not, again, we're not going to put him out there unless we're 100% sure there could be no more damage done. Rick, are you 
had Vladdy on three teams now because like, can you foresee him skating out in a warm up there with the bird cage <laughs> on tomorrow? Listen, nothing surprised me that Vladdy. It, it doesn't. I, when, again, he's a tough kid. That's why we keep we keep him uh, picking him up, man. He he does a lot of good things. He's a great teammate. Uh, his versatility helps, but it's his toughness, his mental toughness. So never rule anything out. Some relief that, that he's it could be worse. Some relief there that could have been worse. Yeah, yeah. The way that went up, yeah. Could have been a lot worse. If he's not able to, if Vladdy isn't able to go, is Cole an option? And uh, what are sort of the, uh, the what was part of the pro thought process putting a guy who hasn't got NHL playoff experience into the fire at this point? Lineup changes. Let's put it that way. Connor <coughs> Halifax uh, nominated for the Vesno. Talked about him enough uh, this season. Uh, how much do you think he deserves that? And he is, uh, he is number one for me. He's uh, very well deserved. Uh, he is the backbone. Every great team has a great goaltender. And he, listen, this guy is a great goaltender. And he deserves it. I just spoke with him about it. And uh, he's pretty excited. But he, and he's, again, he's more worried about tomorrow night, right? He's focusing on that. That's the competitive he is. But it's certainly well deserved. He's been, he's been outstanding uh, all year long. And you know, night in and night out, exactly what you're going to get from him. You're going to get everything he's got every night. I gave him a little bit of a breather in the third period last night, and to put a little more on us on the players in front of him, have to play better. So that's why we made that. That had absolutely nothing to do with his his play at all. It was to give him a break, put a little more onus on the guys in front of him, play better. But in terms of the Vesna, there couldn't be any more of a better nomination than him. Do you think overall end? that you know the team during the playoffs? You know, it hasn't been helping him out enough. Well, we're giving up more chances now than we normally do. So, yeah. At the other end of the ice, Rick, uh, what are you seeing when you're looking at the uh, the video on the chances you've had on your give? Uh, because again, you know, you mentioned you know we see things with our eyeballs, uh, but it looks like a, a majority of those saves are, are are down low. Have you tested them enough with elevated shots? Probably not. You know, in hindsight, you know, it's easy to say, okay, you should have shot yeah. the puck. I get that. But, you know, you go back to game two. Uh, we had a 2-1 lead, and we went in. Uh, Casey hit the post. Right? And then uh, Gabe just missed a great opportunity. Game three, we had a 2-1 lead. We had a breakaway. Like, so he's, he's made some timely saves. Can we test him a little bit higher? Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's easy to set up after the play, but we're still trying to get in there. Uh, he's, he's made some good saves last night. Give him credit. You say there will be changes. You expect changes on the back end and up front? Or? Yes. Why not just injury-related? Performance-related. Performance-related. Yep. You guys have prided yourself on solutions all year long. Uh, is that something that you lean on at a time like this? Yep. When you're yep. No excuses. Find the solutions. That's us working together.